Sometimes you want to move your snowmobile around without actually starting it up and driving it, particularly in and out of a garage if you're concerned about having a problem like this particular garage where it has scrapes from the carbide scratching on the concrete. So it could do damage over time if you keep doing that in and out and in and out. So what I do actually is I use a dolly to push my snowmobile out and then I start it once I get it outside. It's also super handy when I need to move it around inside the garage because I have whatever I have going on. So here's how it works. Basically, just tip it back. And these, these things right here where my foot is, they're adjustable, they go in and out so that you can get around the track. And you just push it forward. I use my foot on the wheel here when I need to. And you get those things right underneath. Sometimes you gotta figure it out through trial and error where exactly the right spot is. And well, because I'm a girl, I put a little weight into pulling this down, but it's not that hard. Just pull down and hook right there. And then you see, snowmobile literally is just teetering. And then I can just easily push it out of the garage like that. And then you have to let go of it. I just put my weight down a little bit and kind of hold on to this thing so it doesn't snap up too fast like that. And then just back that thing right out, just like that. Crazy easy. Now, um, I went online and I found a good deal on Amazon for one of these, different ones, the black one. The link is in the comments section. If you click through, you'll be supporting my website and videos like this. And uh, try one of these out. It makes a big difference. Oh, while I'm still thinking it, make sure you have your, <laughs> make sure you have the tires properly inflated. I've made the mistake of well, not really a mistake. I just got lazy. And if there's not enough air and they're kind of even just a little sort of flattish, you're not gonna push this thing anywhere. It gets really tough. But uh, when you have the right amount of air pressure in there, it's easier to get over little bumps and things like that. Because I'm not as strong as a man. Sometimes I need to put a little bit more weight or I'll move to the front of the snowmobile, lift up the front a little bit and push. Because sometimes pushing is from that end is different than this end or pulling, whatever. You get the idea. So anyhow, that's that.